Hey guys, this is Enrique, and welcome to this editing series tutorial. Part 1 of this video, you will learn how to make this zoom and shake effect. On part 2, you will be able to learn one frame glitch. If you want to combine these effects into one, please watch until part 2 of this editing series. By the way, if it's your first time visiting my channel, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell button, so that you will get notified of my upcoming videos. Okay, let's get started. Go to Composition, New Composition. I'll rename this into One Frame Glitch, the effect that we, re gonna do after this zoom and shake effect tutorial, so be sure to finish this video until part 2. For the width and height, 1920 by 1080 frame rate, 24 frames per second, then hit OK. Drag the photo of our model into the timeline, right-click into the timeline, New, then click Null Object. I will do this twice, so that I can have two null objects. Select our model layer, and parent it by dragging the Pick Whip tool into the first null object. Select the first null object, then parent it into the second null object, by dragging the Pick Whip tool into the second null object. Select the first null, then press S on the keyboard to reveal the scale option, create a keyframe, then drag it to the right, create a keyframe on the first frame by changing the value of scale into 650. Adjust the second keyframe until you achieve the speed that you want. Select all the keyframes, then click Easy Ease. Go to Graph Editor, then copy this graph. Select the second null, press S to reveal the scale option, then create a keyframe, go to the end of the frame, then change the scale value into 650. Adjust the position of keyframes until you achieve the speed that you want. Select the keyframes of the second null object, click Easy Ease, go to Graph Editor, then copy this graph. Cut the clips on this area, at around 1 second spot. Extend the work area into around 2 second spot. Drag the photo of our model into the timeline, Put it on top. I'll cut the photo at the end of the work area. Go to Layer, New, then add Null Object twice. Cut the Null Objects on this area. Select the second clip, parent it into the first Null, then the first Null, parent it to the second Null. Select the nulls, then reveal the position and scale options, by pressing P, then Shift S go to the first frame of the second clip, select the first null, create scale keyframe, change value into 104, move a few frames forward, change the scale value into 150. Select the second null, create a scale keyframe, drag it at the end of the work area, create another keyframe on this area, then change the scale value into 650. Select the first null, create a position keyframe, go to this spot, then drag the value of the position to the left, until we see the face of our model into the frame. Go to the first frame, and change the scale value into 100. Go to this area, change the value of the scale and position, until we clearly see the face of our model. Select the second null, adjust the last keyframes, to center our model into the frame. Select the first null, then easy ease the scale keyframe. Then copy this graph.
Select the second null, then easy ease the scale keyframe. Then copy this graph. Next, select the position keyframes then click easy ease. Adjust the position of the keyframes, until you get the speed that you want. Next, select the second clip, press R to reveal the rotation option, create a rotation keyframe at the start of the clip. Then another rotation keyframe at the end. Go to the center of the clip, then change the rotation value into negative 8. Select all the rotation keyframe, then, click Easy Ease. Copy all the rotation keyframe, then paste it into the first clip. As you can see, we have now zoom and shake effect. But there are some black bars on the side. To remove that, simply scale up the first clip a bit until it fills up the whole frame. That's it for the part 1 of this tutorial. Be sure to join me in part 2, which where we, LL do the one frame glitch, to complete the whole effect. Click here on the screen and hope to see you on the next part, see you there.